University graduate Megan Donnelly left her career in insurance to pursue a job that would engage her mind and her hands. She's now a third-year steam pipe and welding apprentice, and things are going even better than she imagined. I'm not even at my full pay rate, and I'm already making the same as what I was making after 10 years at the insurance company. When it comes to the trades, politicians are promising a lucrative career you can get into straight out of high school. But many young people hoping for that career are encountering barriers trying to land that formal apprenticeship. Not all apprenticeships are alike. This head of training of a major trades union says aspiring tradespeople have to be aware of the mixed messaging put out by training programs and organizations. I strongly suggest do the research, find out the outcomes. Sure, they can get you some work experience, but what you need is an apprenticeship contract. Under this centuries-old model of trades education, companies take on newbies to train with an accredited tradesperson. Their hours are logged and their progress monitored. At the end, they receive their license to practice as an independent journey person. You spend this large amount of money, there's an expectation that you're going to begin a career. But oftentimes, there's temporary placements for employment and there is no contract of apprenticeship signed. So can you show me what you're working on? Rebecca Cragness was once one of a few women, let alone indigenous women, on a construction site. Now she's a leader trying to make the industry more welcoming to everyone who wants to work in the trades. The um, traditional hours of work of an apprenticeship are usually early mornings, sometimes late evenings, and, and that can be tricky to navigate if you have a young child to take to childcare. So I, I feel like there are some opportunities for industry to maybe be more accommodating. We to make sure that they're all the same. The experts we talked to also agree. Despite recent promises in Ontario that you can go into trades training straight out of grade 11, they suggest students still get that high school diploma, especially focusing on math and science, as measuring calculations and programming machines will be key to working in the trades now and in the future. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.